Thoughts on the game, Coach? I like the second half a lot better than the first. Um, thought we were getting quality shots the entire game. I mean, it was just, just obvious the way they were guarding our, our, our spacing. Uh, shots were going to be available. Didn't have any, any issue with that early on. Obviously, we made a couple right out of the gates. But first half, I thought we took quality shots, um, the right shots, moved the ball pretty well, unselfish. Early in, early in half of the timeout, I said, hey, this could be a game where we could you know, get, get another single-digit turnover single-digit turnover night, and then the rest of the half, we did not do a very good job taking care of the basketball. So that was a little disappointing uh, in the first half, our value of the basketball. Uh, defensively, uh, both halves, I would like to have seen a little more ball pressure, a little, you know, more deflections. That's been a big emphasis here lately, is, is playing with more aggressiveness. You know, we want to be a solid team. We don't want to be gambling and reaching and take ourselves out of position. We've got to get our hands on more balls. We've got to be more aggressive. Um, Film is probably going to be a little, little disappointing in some areas, in, in, in that area in some regards. So, so we'll see. But second half obviously clicked very well. Um, Carlton was terrific, of course. And we just kept getting, the, kept getting the quality shots. Guys were looking for each other, very unselfish. Um, missed some opportunities in the paint early in the, early in the second half. I think we missed four or five layups right out of the gates. But we just, just kept attacking and getting it out, and, and uh, had a pretty good second half. You guys scored. 58 points there in the second half. What is there something that was different there that maybe wasn't there in the first half? Or? Yeah, I just felt like the ball, the ball was going through the net, you mm -hmm. know, a little, little better. I didn't think the shots were that much different. Um, we wore them down a little bit. They, they, they had a tough stretch here lately. Uh, played a bunch of ball games. They, they, they were a little worn out. We took advantage of that. Um, you know, we, we needed this game coming off the finals. Uh, the right game for us to be playing today, and uh, an opportunity. You know, uh, Nas has always been, been terrific in practice every day. You can get him back in there and get him some quality minutes. Uh, get to play everybody that, that's not hurt or, or everybody, that was, everybody that was eligible and, and ready to go. We got to play pretty, pretty good minutes tonight. Coach, do you, do you think it's uh, are, are y'all working uh, with uh, Carlton on? On his inside game, because I know he threw, he threw in one uh, from, from close range today, but he's he still uh, takes you know he, he loves that that corner three, and obviously he's a good shooter and can make that. But are y'all working with him to kind of uh, you know make him a, an inside and outside threat? Well, to, all of our big guys, we want to make sure we're we're, we're, we're not going to shoot turnaround jump shots. You know, that's just just analytically, that's just not part of the game anymore uh, for teams that are doing it the right way. So. We're, there's none of that, but we do we want, want some interior scoring for sure. Yeah. All those guys, you know, if we can get down in there and, and, and get get to the, you know, we call it the sweet spot. Get down in the sweet spot, take those quality quality jump hooks with Carlton's length, um, and we sometimes play in the four, you know, and because he's shooting it the way he is, you know, they're going to guard him with a four instead of a five. So when he's out there with Trey or Masal, he's going to have a smaller defender on him. Uh, we posted him a few times tonight. Well, he made a great play, right? And we all. Everybody wants to see him score down on the block, but we posted him. The double team came. He kicked it, kicked it out to Isaiah for a wide open three, and that's that's the right play. So that, that's what we're after, just just making the right play. But yeah, we continue to, to need some interior scoring. Uh, Trey made a great post move today. Drove it, drove it strong, aggressively. Got to his left shoulder, two foot jump hook right over the top. Uh, those, those are those still are the right shots to be taken. You know, crab drilling, spinning, shooting fadeaway jumpers is not what we're after, and, and not many of those. Carlton made a mid-range shot today. Chandler made a mid-range shot today. Uh, PJ took one. I, I mean, it's just, it's just uh, our shot selection is pretty good. You guys have your next two on the road. What are some things you hope carries over from today on the road? Yeah, the positive aspects. Uh, we, we've had about two and a half games now where, where we look. Uh, like we've got purpose on the offensive end. You know, our spacing is good, our driving and kicking is good. Uh, we're occasionally hitting the roll guy. You know, started with the second half of the Incarnate Word game. You know, that was mm -hmm. a game Carlton played very well. We got him on some rolls, right? sucking the defense in with the rolls, getting it back out. Um, Lamar, we shot the ball, mm -hmm. you know, shot the ball well, took quality threes in that ball game. So, so we want that, that part to carry over, you know, the, the uh, the look of our offense is getting a little better. I think we're taking steps in that regard. Our rebounding has improved. Our, our box outs have improved. We need that to continue. Uh, today we were, you know, 
obviously much bigger, mm -hmm. more athletic, so the rebounding was going to be a little skewed anyway. But we are we are actively seeking out box out opportunities now. That's a big step for us. Um, Dre, Dre Fuller took a little step this week with uh, some defensive effort, contesting shots. Dante didn't play today, but his his talk on the defensive end has improved. So mm -hmm. those little things just you, you, you add a little here, a little here. It, it, uh, and keep doing that and make progress, we'll have a chance. We've got a long way to go on the defensive end, but I think we're taking steps. Coach, I asked Isaiah this question. First off, congrats on the win. Um, I asked Isaiah, new to the team this year, not a starter, now consistently a starter, and now, you know, in the 20 point range game after game. Can you talk a little bit about his development this year? Yeah, it's kind of, kind of amazing the progress he's made since he got here. I mean, he's a good player, it's not, I'm not taking credit for it, but he, he went in great. Great shape when he got here. He had an incredibly difficult uh, summer academically. Yeah, he, had, he had a lot of work to do. He was just exhausted. And, and uh, as his conditioning improved, uh, his defense, the defense from, from being a big concern to being pretty good. I mean, you see, he, we had him picking up the ball a lot. He's not the quickest guy we have, but he's got a 6'10 wingspan. He's strong, thick, strong guy. So he's got the ability to put a little ball pressure on, on people. Keeps the ball in front of him, right? So sometimes the quicker guys, he's spacing them, but he's keeping them in front. We knew he would shoot the ball. That that was not. He'd done it for four years. You know, every year of his career, he had shot in the mid 40s from the three-point line. So we expected that to happen. Uh, he's become a much better defender than we anticipated. So uh, a lot of that's got to do with his conditioning. He loves being here. Yeah, he's one of the most appreciative players I've ever been around. He's hungry. Uh, you coach him hard. He wants to be. Just, he's happy to be here. He's thrilled to be here. And it's fun to be able to, to have a good player and coach him hard and have him respond the right way. How do you think you all adapted to playing without a Dante tonight? Yeah, um, you know, we don't have a, a third true point guard. I mean, we've got, we've got a Dante and, and Tucker. Uh, PJ has played some point in, you know, in high school. We watched him on film. We thought he could be that combo guard. And that's usually what you carry, you know, two, two, and, a half, two and a half point guards. But Isaiah, you know, in terms of just advancing the ball and getting us into our, our movement, Isaiah can do that as well. Trey Fuller is a kind of point forward type. So we weren't overly concerned with, with uh, you know, the ball handling aspect, uh, but yeah, we're just, you know, missing a good player, you know, bottom line. And, and uh, ball, we shot 47 threes, and Dante's one of our best three point shooters. So I don't know how many we would have taken if he was out there tonight. But uh, <laughs> we need to get him back, you know. Uh, Tucker's been fantastic almost every game this year. Um, but it's, it's nice to be able to slide him back and forth on the ball and off the ball. And, uh, you know, without a Dante, the ball's going to be in, the hand, in the Tucker's hands even more. Feeling uh, like uh, Dante be able to go uh, at Little Rock? Yeah, I, I, I know. We just, we'll just trust the trainers like we always do. Uh, you know, concussion symptoms, we would take that very seriously. Everybody in the country does. And, and, uh, we're not going to rush anybody back. We're going to put them in harm's way, and, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. He's feeling better. You know, feeling a little better each day. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to make a prediction at this point. Right. But love to have him if we can get him back. Thanks, Coach.